uh, we have things we call risk factors, and these risk factors have gone up for the risk of breast cancer. And in Ghana here, most of the time, 70% of breast cancers are diagnosed in their late stages. That is why this is very important. This um, awareness is very important because we want to detect these cancers early so that we can save lives. It's about early detection. You know yourself so that when you find something wrong with your breast, you can quickly go and seek for help. And there are several reasons why um, we get late um, breast cancers appearing in the hospitals, late stages, where we cannot do anything for them, and therefore we give them something we call palliative care. We give them enough care to ease them to, to death. Let, let's talk a little bit about some of the risk factors yes. that, you know, most people don't know about. Yes. What are some of the risk factors? So we have two different kinds of risk factors. We have risk factors that we can do something about, that we can change. And then we have risk factors that we cannot do anything about. So I'll give examples of each. So risk factors that you, can, you cannot do anything about is female gender. Women are more at risk of getting breast cancer than men. You cannot change the fact that you are a woman. Also, age. Older women are more at a higher risk of getting breast cancer. Race. Um, Caucasian, that is the white race, are more at a higher risk. You can't change the fact that you are Caucasian. Right. And you can't change your family history. So, so what about those who are bleached? No, bleaching has, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> bleaching has nothing to do right. with, yes, breast cancer. And some of the risks that you, ca you can modify are your weight, obesity. Oh, wow. Yes. Um, plays a very big role in breast cancer. It's one of the ma major risk factors that you can change. Obesity? Yes. Because estrogen, there's a hormone called estrogen, which every woman has. And estrogen plays a very big role in breast cancer. And estrogen is found in fat cells. Mm. Yes. Breast cancer is higher in women that have passed menopause, postmenopausal women. And at that time, most of the source of estrogen we get is from fat cells. So if you are big, you have more estrogen, so you have a higher chance of getting breast cancer. Also, alcohol intake, smoking, and then we have um, exposure to estrogen as well by taking in um, estrogen. Okay, so when you say taking in estrogen, one would ask what are some of the food items that you know, are high in estrogen, or is it like a tablet form that you just go and buy and you take in? Yes. What, I'm, what I mean by that is um, we have some women who are on what we call hormone replacement therapy. So they have issues and they have less estrogen, so they are being given estrogen. Oh. Yes, that's what I mean by... Okay, um, yes. okay, okay, okay. So that, stands, that, that makes you, you know, have a high risk of getting breast cancer. It slightly increases your risk oh. of getting breast cancer. We don't want to increase our risk of getting breast cancer. I d it doesn't mean that those things will make you get breast cancer, but right. it just slightly increases your okay. risk of acquiring breast Thank cancer. Thank you so much, Dr. Lavlati. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time. But yes. what I want us to do is that although we are out of the month of October, we need to serialize this conversation yes. to have it more often to educate people out there because... As I said, you don't just get checked during the month of October. You can walk into a hospital at any time to get tested. The month is just to raise an awareness. However, every single day is important for you to walk in there and get your breast checked. So thank you so much, Dr. Lavlati. You're, You're welcome. definitely going to be here again. And we need to talk more about this. We need to learn more. And there was a, you, you were saying if you lie down and something... I, I think I met you, you were teaching us how to do this. Yes, I want to, before we, we go, I want to talk about breast self-examination, which is what we advocate for majorly in a part of the world where we don't have access to um, things like mammogram and breast ultrasound and the things that are available in the West. So we teach that our women should examine their breasts once every month. 
Usually, it's done at a particular time when we advise that we do it 10 days after your first menstruation. So I'm going to give a quick... Um, quick one. A yeah. quick one, explanation okay. of what you're supposed to do. So it's in two folds. You look at your breast and then you feel, you feel it. And you can, it's difficult to look down at your breast. So right. we advise that you're shirtless and then you sit in front of a mirror. So you look at the skin of your breast and see if the size, if there's a redness or there's a lump mm. of, of your breast. And you look at your nipples as well and see if there are any changes. And then you put your hands on your hip and then you press forward. This makes a lump that you couldn't see whilst you were looking in the mirror. It makes it come out. So you just do this? So you, you just do this and then you press your elbows forward. Right. Yes. It makes a lump that was before invisible, it can make it visible because the skin, the lump pulls the skin down when you put pressure and therefore ah. you, can, you can, it's called dimpling. You can, you can see it. And then some of the skin changes that we are looking at is we have reddening of the skin. We have um, sores and ulcers. We also have... Um, see, I'm even stuck at this. You're stuck. You are, you're well, all we know is the one that you raise no, your hand and no, so you can just no. do this. Is it, is so, it? yes, okay, you do so this. Okay, so you know what? Love, I need to bring you back next yes. week and we need to talk more Definitely. about this. So Definitely. we'll take a quick musical break and we come back. Councillor Lutot will be joining us. But Love will be in the studio next week and we talk more about this. So make sure that you keep your dial stayed on TV Africa. We'll be right back. So baby, I told Wufi shit papa pa and we're gonna come in now. And you're going to the crowd. If it's a met fuck Wufi systems, I will home up. So by and Jaya, Wufi shit be a Wubian. Once I become being a modern strip lock, MSL, self lock, IBR, IDT, IBR standard, any packets. Alusink, Eurotal, Shingle, and you would be brave. Namese, me and you won't pan and say, you're to see in your manus so 10% shim. Come on, 10% discount. Wow, I'm not far. But two you are good. From Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturday, 9:30 a.m. to 2 p.m. She should met five roofing systems at Chiaquine, Ewo Musuku, Atomic, Off Kabenya Road, Yebe Chelsea Lodge Pay. And now, free one home trophy is 057-994-9400-020-462-9786. Your hotlines are 050-471-5746. And now, 050-797-0707. Met five roofing systems. Quality products, perfect finishing. Hello and welcome to Adron Precious Bees. Adron Precious Bees is your one-stop shop in Ghana where you can get all types of beads ranging from precious stones, beading accessories, jewelry, anything that concerns bees. We are wholesalers of the beading industry, the beading hub of Ghana. Adron Precious Bees can be located at Makola in the Sewa House building, directly opposite the Backless Bank, shop number T03. And then in Dansoman, you can locate us at the control market, opposite the self-filling station. And Kasua, we are beside the pink FM building. Inside the Bubushi Market, you can also locate Adon Precious Bees. And then our new branch at the Kwabenya ACP Road. Adon Precious Bees is enrolling now people into the bidding industry. If you are a bead lover or a professional and you want to learn bees as a pattern, a hobby or as a profession, come to us. Come and be a lover of beads. Come, we will teach you. Adon Precious Bees. Hang out. Adon Precious Bees. Precious Bees. Well, 
Welcome back. And uh, the man himself is here, Councillor, Reverend Councillor George Castinson Lutrot, is here with his hat, his spectacles, his uh, mirror shoes, and his phone. Welcome. Thank you. Rosie, how are you doing? We are in Pink October. I'm fine. What is Pink October? Almost in Brazil. Uh, you remember you have a video, actually, that you were supposed to start up a consultancy, right? That has been about five years ago. We are seeking for the permission to set up the breast sucking consultancy. And let me use this opportunity to plead again. And this time, I think His Excellency, Nana One, the current president of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, Mrs. Rebecca Akufuado, Her Excellency, this is a plea from me, Councillor Lutrot, that the license to operate the breast sucking consultancy, I'm still asking you, my own is not going to be an October noise. It's a regular thing that I'm doing. So we will help women examine their breasts by the help of men that they will not even see their face. We are going to try as much as we can to push the breasts. Sad the nipple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not like Becker's song, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I shuffle for, I shuffle for. We suck and mere. If we see anything, we will write the alarm. Breast sucking consultancy. Yeah, from what may. Now, of our home on uniform area. Are you aware God is not a fool when He gives you bottles, then He collects your breast? <laughs> you see women with bottles and they have tangy breasts. There are types of breasts. Next week, I'll come and show you the type. Cucumba, we have uh, orange, we have avocado. We have, so people think that uh, we have a breast called yogbe. You know yogbe? You don't know yogbe? What's yogbe? Oh, you don't know a patramo? No. Oh my God, you are far from nearby stores. Yogbe is a particular form of breast. You see the breast, as if the breast is ayoyo. You know ayoyo? Yeah. It's not that it's old breasts, but they came with ayoyo breasts. The breast is like, it's not saggy, but the lower part of the breast looks. And the top is like, yeah. So when you see, you think people have sucked it out. No. It's called your uh, ayoyo. And we have a uh, boaminami. It's also a type of breast that you can put at your back for the baby to suck whilst you are going. They are breasts, though, and they are type of nipples. This is where we want to open the consultancy so that there are some type of nipples that when you see, you have to look for it. If you want to suck the breast, you look for the, the nipple. <laughs> so you suck the whole duct area just to look for the nipple because it's inverted. Nipple na ashe nufuonu. One chia. And there are people that they don't have nipples until... They have sexual orientation. No foreplay, no nipple. So when you meet them, you can run away. And there are some nipples that are seated. So unless you pop it out, it doesn't come. So this breast sucking consultancy, it's not just any breast. And the consultancy is going to be decently running under regulations that governs the thing. Men who are going to suck behind the thing must not ejaculate. They are not supposed to erect. All these things are part of the rules of regulation. Who is sucking your breast? You don't know the person. All you need to do is that provide your breast for the whole. And like your own, the size is not like their own. So your size is there. Just put it inside. So as we are going, this is my tip for you before I start my main topic. If you are a woman... You are not supposed to use one breast, one brazier for, for the whole year. Number two, you are also not supposed to use the same size of brazier since we are young till now. You know there are people who have not changed their brazier size? I don't know. Do you know your bra size? Yes, I do. You know. Yes. So if I want to buy you a bra, you can just give me the size. No, I have to go test, check at the shop. Yes. Because was, you never know, depending on the weight, if I've gained weight. No, so when was the last time you checked your breast size? Well, are, you, are, you, are, are you coming to You are me? educating I, in I, a I, pinch. I, I, did I tell you I want to educate? You uh, see where how shameful these our people are in the world. Who are who is shameful? That you have opportunity for me, a rich man, to buy you a brazier. You I can't don't give want me the size. Leave it there. I don't want brazier from you. Please. Send, I tell you I 
can't when we brass. open the lines and you want me to buy you brazier, just call me, give me your brass size. I will buy you a brazier. Why shameful people are working in town, they don't know their breast size. You don't know your breast size. So how do I buy you brazier? Look at this girl in black. See, as if she has no breast, chest, flat chested people. Give me your breast size and I'm going to buy you a brazier now before the end of October. I promise you. The, today is the end. So if you give me today, I'm going to buy you. You don't know your breast size. I know my because I don't, you I don't, don't want brazier from you, Councillor Lutwort. I don't want. You say what? I say I don't want. You don't want what? Brazier. She doesn't want brazier from me because she doesn't know her breast size. Oh, look at you. Shame on Let's you. Let's go to the topic for today. As we jump mm -hmm. into the end of October and start November, which is the 11th month to Christmas, keep this date locked everywhere you are. December 25th is the Orgasm Conference 2019. Sex year together this year. We do first in the U.S. after U.S. before we come to Ghana. U.S. is on the 1st of December. And 3G Media Award is also happening here. We are part of the award this year. We're leaving Ghana. We hope that some years to come, you'll be nominated. Then you go and take your award in the United States of America. Especially when you know your breast size. Because I'm traveling. I don't know how I'm going to buy you I a don't want to. Don't buy me brazier. I'll be okay. I don't buy her because actually she knows that her size is not what she's wearing. She's I wearing said foam. don't buy you me brazier. Uh, she, she's wearing foam. It's, it's, don't buy me brazier. I hear <laughs> don't mind me, Bryce. I decided they just talk. You, <laughs> you don't know your breast size. What, is, uh, what has that got to do with the topic for today? No, because it's, you, it's, you, it's, it's I'll pink you October. For sexual harassment. Coffee cup people. <laughs> breast. Nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Kapito has not been in the country. He has run away. Anyway, so today we are talking about conflict in marriage. When we talk about the resolution, who is the right person for you to seek help from? Well, thank you very much. I think that the confusion right now is that I want you to learn this, that in every building you enter, for example, TV Africa structure, the civil mentality is that you should know that there are three areas you should know in this building. The first one is the entrance and the exits. They are one. Mm -hmm. The next one is the emergency exit of this building. You need to know where they are, where it is. And then the last one is the, the gents or the ladies, the toilet facility. These three places you need to know in life. Now, the same way like marriage. Anytime you make an intent to marry, you should know the exits of marriage. And the exits of marriage, there are two. There are two major things that must happen in every marriage. If it doesn't come now, hold your fire. If it doesn't come at all, thanks be to God. But when it comes, it's normal. Mm. Cheating. Divorce, they are part of marriage. So you, you are married, I'm married. If your husband cheats, it's normal. If me, my wife cheats, it's normal. There's nothing wrong with it. You're not supposed to die when your partner is cheating. It's normal. It's normal because it's part of the marriage. It's part of the package. And when you have this understanding... So when you don't cheat, it's abnormal? No, it doesn't make it abnormal. It means that it's lack of opportunity or it's not yet. But me, I've not cheated yet because it's lack of opportunity. But it will happen. That's what if, me, if, if it happens to me, it's normal. I mean, it's difficult right now for me to cheat because the things I want to cheat with, all of them are consumed. What do you want to cheat with? It's not available. That's the problem. You understand? Those ones that will come to when me... When they were available, what were they? By then, where I was, I was not able to reach it. You see the distance? Like my hand. And now that I can reach it to, it's, the availability is not there for me. And I, 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 I can't see myself cheating with a small girl. Actually, naturally speaking, I can't have sexual intercourse with a small girl. I can't do it. Because I don't know how she's, her, her, her reaction is going to be to my demeanor. Whether it's going to be, ow. Hey. Ow. Because the things I carry, imagine a small girl under me. Ow. Hey. Hey. When you say small girl, what age are you talking about? Uh, you don't know who's a small girl? No. Tell well, me. I mean, me, I don't want to have sex with anybody below the age of 30. Below the age of 30? Yes, no. That's Even like after, after 35, I will enjoy sexual intercourse with you. But those, and those, no, 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 I mean. Because that means the reaction from me, I know my sexual capacity. So I'm just imagining that small girl's reaction. Oh, hey. Whether she's surprised or she's a joy, I wouldn't know. 
You know, I mean, it's not about rape, but those things will not happen in my, in my region. So mine is like I have missed a lot of opportunities. So mine now is lack of opportunity. And I don't know when the cheating will happen, but if it happens, it's a normal thing. So I'm bringing your mind to something that before we begin to look for conflict in relationship, we should look for what is precipitating the conflict. Right. Usually, most conflicts are coming out because of uh, this marital dissatisfaction. Mm. You know, we have erectile dissatisfaction and erectile dysfunction. There are two, the EDs are two. There are men who are who are falling victims to erectile dissatisfaction. So, it's not that they can erect, but every home match they lose. All away matches they are winning. Do you understand home matches and away matches? Oh, yes. Your husband has told you about it. No, 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 you have. You, so, you, sat, you sat on this couch and you told So, me. you are learning? Yeah, a lot. Okay, so, I went... Reverend Counselor George. Lucas, so, your husband is winning more home matches than away matches, yes or no? I don't know. Then you are not a wife. No, no, no. I then you are I really disturbing this man. I don't know what, 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 no, no, what no, no, you mean. No, 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 no. I mean, if you know what is away match and, and home match, ah, you, and you, you are telling me today that is your, now, husband winning more, to what saying, is your husband winning more home matches My than away matches? My husband is being faithful to me. He's not cheating. No, define faithfulness. What is your own? No, define faithfulness. I say he's not cheating. If your I husband, my home, you no, 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 I'm you, not asking you if he's cheating or not. Uh -huh. It's just a simple question. I, is he winning more home matches than away matches? Reverend George Luther, you sat here, you said you lack of opportunity. My husband is lacking opportunity outside. Sir, you are not a counselor. You are not a reverend minister. Why are you having lack of opportunity? Change your life because Rosie needs that record to say on TV. Let me continue my conversation. So as I was saying, your mouth is shaking because what you said, you don't mean it. I'm sorry. What she said, the husband has not cheated before. She didn't Master, 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 master. Are you meant What it? is your own? No, I you said meant my it. husband is lacking opportunities outside just like So you. it's not like he has not cheated before, but it's lack of opportunity. No, he hasn't started. Just, just like you haven't started. He's, he's like... No, now you are comparing your, me to your husband. Of course. Who and why did I tell you the last time I want you to sack your husband and marry you? You say no. Because I don't want to marry you. About if I'm the same like him, yeah, why? No, no, no. Your, 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 your demeanor is different. Your but he's also lacking opportunity like me. Yes, that's all. That's the only thing you are. Then he's you suffering. Are, um, and so you are suffering. Be yes, because of the job I do. But your husband doesn't do the same thing. Why is it like your opportunity? And so he has opportunity to women, but he doesn't have the access to, he's, he just, to eat. He just to Thank you, Mr. Man. Eat at the right time because your wife says you are not hungry. That shall not be caught is the 11th commandment. Until you are caught, you are faithful. Let me continue my conversation. And that goes to you as well. No, me, I have not got the opportunity. Until you when are I caught. get, oh, don't worry. No, me, when I get, I will make history. Continue. I will look. Mm, I'm looking. Man, Kubo Chodi, hi! Kwa! Kwa! Ubabi, hey, Osafone, hey, Osafone, hey. Are you sure you are a pastor? Ah, Kubo Chodi, money, Kubo Chodi. Gafo Mobi. So the challenges and the type of conflict that comes in marriage, majority of them are things that comes out from sexual matters. Unfortunately, we need to continue this conversation. Oh actually, my because God! Because of the breast cancer awareness. Don't worry, because today. of breast. But you see, as I leave you, and of, and I think the next week uh, we might have to get people calling in to solve this issue. Most because, definitely. But we are going to teach you who you have to talk to when there's conflict. People have gone to talk to their mother-in-law, especially women, have confided in their mother-in-law, and that is what has destroyed their marriage today. Some have confided in pastors, and that's what has destroyed their marriage. Some people have confided in their friends. Rosie, as I leave, tell everybody in Ghana, you are telling if them. you are close to a certain girl, and all of a sudden, you realize that your husband is having sexual intercourse with a girl, what would you do? 0277. She can't answer. 609. Well, she has forgotten the answer. 644. 0277. 609. 644. If your mother in law is fighting you and you want to fight her back, call me. We'll fight her spiritually and physically. But if your husband is having sexual intercourse with your close friend, you can't answer like Rosie. What will you do? Is the question for the day. Rosie, what will you do? Your husband is having sexual intercourse with your closest friend. I don't even have closest friends. On that note, we'll be right Ah, uh, This is why you don't get close to them. Mm. You are afraid they will chop. We'll be right back. No, you are who? Me. Say, I will be. <laughs> I'm
But of course, hello, it's been an exciting hello, time. I enjoyed by myself. Who said by tomorrow is that? Uh, That's your new nickname. I've, I've enjoyed myself <laughs> so much. Today has been a good day. Of course, day. you enjoy yourself. Why yes. would you? Why, why would you enjoy yourself? After say color on TV. After why all, would you enjoy? All, that is what For those came of you from, who don't know the I, meaning of color, do you have to say that? Who asked you? The meaning of color. Yeah, it means a cake, a cake, a cake. Color mentality. Color, 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 color. <laughs> But of course, Kaku, Kolo, Lumo. Kaku, we are watched Lumo. K -K in 42 K -K countries. That's a reminder for those of you who want to do business with us here at TV Africa. You get your goods and everything. Exactly. When world. you go out there, show love to somebody because we love you so much. And don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to always watch TV Africa, DSTV Channel 362 or Go TV Channel 175. Follow our social media handles as well, which is TV Africa, Africa GH, GH across all socials. board. My name is Rosalind Felix. My name is Koko Luma. I will see you tomorrow. Koko Lumo. Mm -hmm. <laughs>